Welcome back to 2230, your source for in-depth analysis and engaging discussions on the latest happenings in Singapore and the Asian region. Today, we've got a hot topic on our hands that's been making headlines in the Lion City. But before we dive in, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share this video with your friends. We're all about bringing you the most insightful content, so let's jump right into it. On September 8, Singaporean politics took an intriguing turn as Hazel Poa, a non-constituency member of parliament from the Progress Singapore Party, submitted a motion to suspend Transport Minister S. Isran from his parliamentary duties during an ongoing investigation by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau, or CPIB. This motion is set to be debated in parliament on September 19. So, why is this such a big deal? Well, Hazel Poa's motion aims to halt Minister Isran's receipt of his MP allowance, which amounts to a hefty 192,500 Singapore dollars annually, while he's not performing his official duties. In addition, she's introduced a private member's bill to amend the Parliament, of Privileges, Immunities and Powers, Act 1962. This bill could potentially allow Parliament to back pay the withheld MP allowance to an MP who has been suspended from service. Enter Lim Teen, the leader of the Alternative Party People's Voice, or PV, who has expressed strong disapproval of a separate motion submitted by Indrani Raja. Indrani's motion suggests that Parliament should only consider suspending Minister Isran's MP pay when the outcome of the ongoing investigations is known. Lim Teen raises a pointed question, should an individual continue receiving their pay while being investigated or suspended? Now, let's break down the numbers here. As of August 2, Prime Minister Li Xianlong announced that Minister Isran's monthly salary was reduced to 8,500 Singapore dollars until further notice, in line with civil service practice for ministers facing investigations. However, this reduction doesn't affect his MP pay, which remains untouched at approximately 16,000 Singapore dollar monthly. To stop this allowance, Parliament would need to move a motion to suspend him from service. So, what's at stake here? It's not just about one minister's pay. It's about the principles of accountability, fairness, and the use of taxpayers' money. As Lamteen pointed out, the question is whether we should be paying someone a substantial sum when they are not actively serving their duties and could well afford not to be taking this money while clearing their name. But here's where you come in, our 2230 community. We want to hear your thoughts on this political showdown. Do you believe that Minister Isran should continue receiving his MP pay during the investigation? Is it a matter of principle or pragmatism? Share your opinions down in the comments below, and don't forget to engage with fellow viewers. We're looking forward to some lively discussions. That's a wrap for today's episode. If you found this video informative and engaging, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to 2230 for more insightful content on Asian news, politics, and beyond. Stay tuned for our next deep dive into the region's most pressing issues. Until then, keep those opinions flowing. 